Yes, I know. I get caught the same way. Stand by, please. I also yeah, like to pretend that I forget it's on and say things about the sound crew. <laughs> <laughs> you know, before, before the scene starts, I'll say, uh, okay, I'll say yeah, this sound crew doesn't know what they're doing. I mean, I don't, you know, we're on <laughs> radio mics way out in the woods <laughs> shooting. We're rolling. Oh, we are? We're rolling. Two, one, action. Well, Chevy Chase, you seem to be in, a, in fine fettle, as they say. I've never known what fine fettle is. I've, uh, Find me a fettle. And I'll know what that is. <laughs> okay. Anyway, good to see you. And I've been looking forward to this movie because, well, first of all, the National Lampoon's Vacation was such a hoot. Did so very, very well for you. And I am have been for years madly in love with Europe. So anything about Europe. You well, know, you won't be after this. <laughs> You're uh, going to destroy Europe. You'll, for you me. will find many of the great, uh, the great things about Europe are gone now that the Griswolds have been there. <laughs> Uh, Stonehenge is gone. <laughs> we leveled Stonehenge in this picture. Uh, in fact, I was just talking about that. We uh, <laughs> we actually do. We built a two-thirds scale uh, out of movie rock a Stonehenge model of Stonehenge and visited it. it. Looked just like Stonehenge. It just was that much smaller, and every rock was uh, was um, hydraulically controlled by these little men hiding under one rock with switches and levers. And as as we leave Stonehenge to go to some other uh, point of interest, I uh, inadvertently back my car up into one of them and then take off. And of course, there's a domino effect, and every rock in Stonehenge goes over, and we level it. <laughs> so there's a good example of what happens in European vacation. And people who believe everything they see in movies will now think that Stonehenge is a parking lot. <laughs> That's right, yeah. For or a rocks. dump. <laughs> or a dump, yeah. Right. Jeffy, I wonder if anything happened, because here you were, this film company trooping around Europe, and you had to have behind the scenes lots of funny things happen, and I wonder if there is any particular thing that stands out in your mind. Well, no, nothing. Uh, in my life, in being in Europe, this is the first time I was there for any period of time, uh, and uh, it wasn't really a vacation, it was work. And I brought my wife with me and my uh, daughter, who was under two at the time. My wife was very pregnant. So uh, I was, uh, my concerns were the things that stood out were Janie's tummy and my concern for her well-being. You know, is she going to give birth today because I'm doing the scene on the Eiffel Tower? And uh, many of the things that were funny that happened just happened trying to keep my family together. You know, kids don't adjust very easily to the, uh, the uh, jet lag. It takes a couple of weeks, we, d we discovered. Uh, so I didn't sleep a lot for the first few uh, weeks of shooting. Then Janie came back and stayed here in the States and I did the rest of the film there. And basically, I mean, you say anything particularly stood out, I mean, it was, it was a horrible time in, of the year to be there. We shot in the fall and it poured the whole time. And that makes it hard on a film company who wants to make it look nice and bright and summery. So we changed locations very quickly all the time. I think a lot of the time we didn't know where we were or what scene we were doing. We just winging it, going at it, you know, trying to be the Griswolds. Um, Why do they they do that? You know, because that's the obvious thing that everybody wants to know. Okay, if they want it to be summertime, why don't they do it in the summer? Why don't they shoot it in the summer? I, I asked myself the same question. <laughs> uh, I think that there's something about the Griswolds, that family you saw in the first one, that, uh, that begs to be put in Europe in the fall. They of all the families I can think of who would win uh, a game show, which is how this get, comes about, and win a vacation in Europe, this is the only family I can think of who would win a vacation at the worst time in Europe. And uh, so it's fitting in a way. Um, and just from the point of view of scheduling, uh, it was the best time to shoot for the picture to come out in the summer. We could have shot in the summer. I think I was shooting something else. I was shooting Fletch. There's one good reason. And uh, in order to get Fletch finished, I had to stay here and do that. But uh, 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 they'll, they'll do anything they can to get a movie ready for the summer. These companies are, they know what they want. They know what they want out there when, and the summer is a big time. And of course, the first one was uh, released late in July, just as this one is, and it, uh, it stumped the box office for a while. They were really quite surprised that it did so well, which is, of course, the reason for the sequel. No surprise to me that it did so well, but that's... I was sort of surprised, but I mean, I was very happy. Yeah. Chevy, one, uh, one last question. Uh, 
Are you pleased or offended by the way that you were treated in Bob Woodward's book, Wired? I haven't read it. I only know from my friends, and I, my, and I know from one who marked pages where I was written about and earmarked them and stuff and showed me, and I just laughed. I mean, I, I feel about the way Carson felt when he made his comment on the show about the DeLorean issue didn't have anything to do with it, didn't know why he was involved or, you know, I just felt, well, that's not me. And from what I gather, it wasn't really much about John either. It just took a grisly set of circumstances in his life, which is a very sad one, uh, certainly up to in the last couple of years, and made an issue of that. And uh, it just seemed to be way off the beam. Was there, though, bad feeling between John and yourself, or at least on John's I wasn't part. as aware of it as, as uh, Woodward was, apparently, and uh, I only heard about it long after I left Saturday Night Live. Uh, it was maybe covered a bit by John. I mean, there, there may well have been bad feelings that uh, he wouldn't want to have talked about. I don't think they're bad feelings. There may be a set of jealousies uh, over the fact that I made it first, that type of thing, uh, simple stuff that's really among friends more than anything. I mean, I knew John would be a big star. I didn't expect that to happen to me at the time it did. I had just finished working with John a couple of years earlier on the National Lampoon's Lemmings uh, show, and he was wonderful in it and unquestionably the star of that. And I was just sort of learning from him and having a good time. So it never occurred to me that, it, that he wouldn't be at some point a star. Whatever those feelings were, uh, I think they were built up more by media and uh, sometimes you have to just to get something interesting in a story, right? All the time you have to write something a little more sensational and bigger than it really was. Well, Chevy, we have used up our time, but it's good to see you again. And I'm really looking forward to European vacation. And if you have ruined Europe for me, I may I forgive so. you. No, I, I may forgive you'll you. You'll go back and free it. <laughs> right. Hope I'll have some of those fun experiences. <laughs> the good ones, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chevy. Good to You're see welcome. you. You're welcome. Good to see you. Boys. Will you check the shot? to be uh, about like so. All right. Okay. Let it go. You rolling? And rolling. Chevy, what was the European experience like for... Chevy, what was the European experience like for you off screen? And now there are some people who think that Stonehenge, and now there are some people who believe everything they see in movies and they think Stonehenge is a parking lot. Are you offended or, how did I say that? Are you offended by the way Bob Woodward treats you in the book Wired? The book leads us to believe that there was bad feeling between you and John. Did you have any experiences off screen that would be just too wild to even try to put into a movie? Now just reactions. Belushi, that son of a bitch. Okay.